everybody loves Roblox doors, especially when the game is working properly and oh, as intended. Then. Running through many of its randomized rooms, dealing with powerful entities, and even reaching the end is all what gives the game the popular rep it deserves. But what if something happens that completely breaks the game? Well, these are the top broken moments ever featured in Roblox doors. Let us know if you ever ran into any bugs down below, and let's get this party started. I'm sure you all know Sieg very well, especially during his famous chase scene twice within a full run of the game, but when things start to get choppy, like for this guy, I'm sure it can get super annoying. Yeah, better luck next time, buddy. Maybe get a server that's closer to you to fix that. It's sad because this actually happened to me as well a while back, so I guess it's a broken moment that occurs more often than not. But how about this? Imagine just hopping into an elevator in the lobby to load up a fresh new game experience, and then all of a sudden, the elevator just doesn't work at all as it completely seizes up. Sorry to say, but I guess that's the game saying that you can't even play today. Maybe go touch some grass or something. That should probably help. This is super rare, but as you're casually running through the rooms in order to beat Roblox doors, imagine running into a door like these guys did that's completely broken and won't open. Not even Glitch is here to save you, which is the weirdest part. They actually had to let Hyde catch them and revive in order to get past the room, which is actually pretty smart if you really think about it. Not going to lie though, the figure cutscene, especially at door 50, is a cool concept and idea, especially since figure is the only entity that features scripted cutscenes, but sometimes, especially in laggy servers, this could happen. Yeah, that's one super laggy figure right there. And the fact that he was so close to the players at the end nearly costed them their run too. But this is crazier. Figure being blind as we all know, simply didn't know which room he was in for this one and it caused him to do the unthinkable. Bro, where the heck did he even go? I thought there was a floor down there, but I guess not. Someone said that figure didn't learn Arby's, so he finally missed the jump on purpose. <laughs> Good one. But yes, near the end of the event, figure actually bugged out and came to catch the player trying out a back door. So that was just a super weird moment, I guess. Speaking about doors, why not experience yet another broken door, this time by Dreadmania? Definitely looks weird, especially since most of the assets, such as the door handles, the signs, and the texture itself was detached from the rest. At least they can walk through the door though, that's a nice little bonus. Oh, what's going on Screech? You want to be in the video too? Well check this one out. White literally Screech was stuck to the screen after his evade for a couple seconds, which was very odd. Just be glad he wasn't there the whole game though. But how about this? Imagine just playing the game normally, and then all of a sudden, things start to glitch out and you randomly end up in the void. Like, why would the room randomly despawn right there? To make matters worse, oh no. They got thrown right into a rush too, which was icing on the cake. But this one's hilarious. So Dreadmania is casually just trying to complete the Seek chase, right? Nothing really crazy going on, it's just a normal chase. And then this whole sequence ends up happening. Honestly, I couldn't stop laughing after watching this. Glitch randomly comes in and ends up glitching Seek so bad to the point where my man is stuck in the wall. And the player 
still ends up getting caught by them. That's just terrible luck right there. But how about trying to hide away from figure, especially when it comes to timing your heartbeat right, to prevent getting completely mauled by the character? How would you even explain this though? This crazy sequence of hearts just happens right after reviving from the wardrobe, which was insane. Just be glad we don't have to do those inputs, or else that would be impossible. Another weird one, again featuring figure during his infamous cutscene within the library, but this one comes with the pose that I'm sure you all know. Honestly, pretty hilarious seeing figure introduced with a T-pose and then slowly cutting right into his normal animation afterwards. I guess figure really needs to learn when to come in for his entrance next time. Now I'm sure everyone already knows how to do the seek chase glitch. I mean this one's been shown many times and it is considered a broken moment, but this gets crazier. You know those floating hands chilling in midair when you fall into the void? Well, dig this. Yeah, it's actually possible to get caught by those hands as it's airy shows, which is actually pretty crazy. I'm just surprised that the guiding light doesn't bug out from that one though, considering it is in a weird location. Yet another seek moment, this player showcases what would happen if you somehow managed to hide into a closet during the cutscene. That would be possible, but hey, the more you know, I guess. This one is OP, but there was a bug in Roblox doors where the player during the Heartbeat mini game would be able to simply just leave the wardrobe as figure would be confused for a couple seconds. Honestly, not sure if this still works or not, but I guess use it while it lasts. And perhaps the most broken moment in Roblox doors history? Do you really want to know? Well, Cardin Hong was able to run into 30 plus screeches all at once, which was actually pretty insane. Pretty sure I used hacks, but hey, it's a broken moment in my book. Just make sure none of those screeches come towards me, because I don't know what I would do with so many of them. Literally, I'm gonna be dreaming about screeches tonight at that point. Like, oh my gosh. 